A game that speaks for itself in so many ways. A stadium bursting at the seams with excitement and two terrific teams ready to give it everything in their quest for glory. The kind of match that's impossible to take your eyes off even for a brief second. Live coverage next on EA TV. Hello to you from the south coast of England. The venue for this game is the Amex Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry. And alongside me at the microphone is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Brighton and Hove Albion, and they take on Sheffield United. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And this is how the starting eleven looks for Sheffield United. John Egan plays alongside Jack Robinson in central defence. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. And a chance to whip it in here. Ross. Determined defending. Playing it short. Joao Pedro. Vital intervention. Well back. Can he finish? Not covering up defensively. Well, he was under pressure, and maybe you could tell that by the header, which wasn't the best. Well, he wasn't first to the ball, but the defender certainly made the header more difficult. Ahmed Hodzic. Was it the denial of a clear goal-scoring opportunity? If so, he's off. And I think that's one we could have called from five miles away, Stuart. Clear red card offence. Well, you've obviously got very good eyesight, but no doubt about that. He's got the goal-scoring opportunity there. He had to go. I had my eyes tested last week, I'll have you know. And goes for goal! And foiled only by the crossbar. Well, it comes to nothing in the end. Well, the visitors won't enjoy hearing this, but it is a fact. They have the least proficient defence in the league. And it's something they're going to have to address sooner or later, Stuart. Well, I have to say, their defending has been really poor this season. No structure, a lack of leadership, and dare I say, a lack of understanding. Unless that improves today, they won't get anything from this game. And quick thinking defensively. Joao Pedro. And the Seagulls losing the ball. Well, slightly off target, and that'll be a throw-in. Really sitting deep now. That could be problematic. Pedro. And a close offside decision as they were threatening. And Brighton did well to win back possession.
March. And offside, unfortunately. Bogle. Archer. Might really be able to trouble them here. He has time to play it over. Has someone to play it to. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Joel Feldman. Here's Gross. Well back. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Archer. Getting in there to intercept. Well back. Max Lowe. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw in. Well, as the stats show us, this has been a really even game so far. There just hasn't been enough guile or invention in the top third of the field from either team, which needs to change at some point. Norwood. He has teammates around him. Oh, that's an interesting pass. And fine goalkeeping. Pedro. Read it superbly to take back possession. What was the chance they could get caught out on the break here? Well, totaling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. Options in the centre. Oh, that's a fine-looking pass. He's blocked it! So there goes the half-time whistle, and it is a story of parity. Stuart, what have you made of the visitors' display? Well, we've talked about their problems at the back, but in the first half, they've looked really solid, and it's been the midfield who have stood out. Their work rate has been excellent. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Promising sequence. A chance to nudge in front. Corner kick here. <laughs> Taken short. Norwood. Loves to cut in from the wide areas. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Pervis Estupinian. Dahoud. And Feldman with it here. Really bright looking attack. March. It's a corner. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly come to life.
And the short option preferred. Comes it back. Determined defending. Dahoud. Well back. Really fine piece of defending play to break us up. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. We've had a mobile phone handed in if you've And that is going to be a free kick. Please make your way to reception after the game. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. And clears his lines. Oliver Norwood. Gustavo Hammer. Crossing possibilities. Moving forward effectively. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Estupiñan, Pedro, Joao Pedro, showing real patience, can they forge ahead? Marvellous anticipation! Archer, well, strong play here. Oliver Norwood and passing it well preferring to go infield pressure exerted but he keeps the ball no possibilities inside the box opportunity and a goal they've taken the lead well playing a man short but that doesn't seem to bother them we shouldn't be surprised Well, I'm sure the replay will confirm he got a touch on this, which he does. So he'd be really upset that he didn't keep it out. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Pedro Adam Webster and a creative look about this Dahoud Welbeck now with Gross cutting it back crucial piece of defending a corner then and with time running out they've got to ask questions and time for the change now Can someone get on the end of this? And just wide of the post with a header. Well, no let up, plenty of pressure. Good use of advantage by the referee. Archer. Well, there's still scope for late drama here. Five minutes left and just one goal between the sides. Brighton regaining possession. Well, the players should be inspired by this. The crowd have really got behind them today. Incisive pass. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end.
Mitoma on the ball in an attacking position but they've got to do something positive quickly Dahoud and he keeps going this could square the game brilliantly blocked Gustavo Hammer Max Lowe on the ball a move of promise on the flank My goodness, you've really got to praise the defending. That was top notch. And there it is. The referee blows for full time. Sheffield United get the victory and take maximum points. How would you sum it up? Well, they may have the worst defence in the league, but today they worked so hard all over the pitch to keep that clean sheet. That was about the best I've seen them defend, and it helped set up a really good victory.